Welcome to the Weight Loss Injection Revolution Podcast. I'm Dr. Josh Luke, not a medical doctor, just a PhD, but on my Ozempic journey. And if you listen to the show, you know I have now gone on to step two of my Ozempic journey, which is I am off the injections. Now this is day one. Uh, but today's show is going to be kind of a different one, a fun one, where we're going to talk about six like strange, weird things that can happen when you're on your injection journey, whether it's Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjaro, Trizepatide, uh, Zepbound now, of course, all these other things, uh, whichever one it is, um, we're going to talk about six weird things that can happen when you're on the injections. Are you ready for the first one? I've mentioned this briefly before, but usually you get the injection in the rear end, right? One of your butt cheeks. And at the clinic I go to, um, the the um, medical assistant that does the shot says, oh, some people do it in their belly and they actually think they lose more in their belly that week. And now other people are putting it like on their inner thigh if they want to lose thigh muscle. I'm like, well, does that work? Is that actually scientifically proven? And she goes, not that I'm aware of, but people do it and in their head, they think it's working. So uh, moving the shot location around from the rear end to the belly and some other people have even taken it a step further, as I mentioned. So that's number one, uh, where the shot is uh, placed is the first of six weird random things about the uh, injection. Are you ready for number two? And this is from my wife and my wife's uh, interview. Her episode is one of the most listened to episodes we've had. It's in the top five because she's done all the fad diet. She's lost weight. They've all worked for her at one time. And then, you know, she gained the weight back. And that's why she's so excited about her Ozempic journey down 54 pounds. But when we were up doing our annual ski trip, uh, she said, this is the second time I've been in elevation or altitude since I've been on the injections and my nausea is way worse. So the second weird thing about the injections, your nausea might get worse when you go to elevation. These are unscientific things that we're learning, right? So so that's two. Number one, moving the shot around from the rear end of the belly or other parts. Number two, your nausea could possibly get worse in the altitude. I know my wife's did. Okay, number three. And if you're not on any like Facebook groups for uh, the injections, you know, there's Ozempic and Wagovi user groups and people talking back and forth. Where can I get shots? How can I get shots? Will my insurance cover it? Blah, blah, blah. All those things we've talked about on this show as well. Um, some of them are regional overseas or here or whatever in the States, whatever it might be. But one of the things that came up and my wife's a hairstylist and I asked her about this and she heard this too, is some people have said they've seen a little bit of hair loss, hair falling out when they're on the injections. And if you are in those face group rooms, um, you do hear from time to time about uh, people saying, yeah, um, I've actually experienced some hair loss as a result. I haven't. My hair has been, you know, receding hairline and thinning for years, but I haven't noticed anything in particular since I've been on the injection. So, um, so that's number three. So number one, moving the shot around. Number two. Nausea could be worse than altitude. And number three, hair loss could be a thing, right? So number four, and I mentioned this on the last show, and this is, is something that's both a personal experience and my uh, optometrist shared this with me. Um, number four, is your vision deteriorates at least temporarily when you have rapid weight loss, okay? My vision is just getting worse because I'm in my young 50s and I have all these different glasses, but I've noticed in the last few months, my prescription is, it needs to be stronger. Uh, and when I went to the doctor most recently, she said, oh yeah, rapid weight loss changes your, your protein in your eyes, your pH balances. I wasn't exactly sure what exactly she was saying, but I, I did go back and ask my ophthalmologist about it. And then, as I mentioned on the last show, I actually had a couple bouts of blind spots, uh, just um, three times in one week, which was awkward for me because I've had that happen before, but only when I had a stomach bug or I was dehydrated, but to have it three times in one week kind of threw me off a little bit like, Hey, what's going on? And that's actually one of the things that made me kind of go, you know, let's just end this injection journey part one for now and go to part two, which is the post injection chapter, which we started yesterday. Uh, and so vision. So there's four things, the shot in the belly, versus the butt. Uh, nausea could be worse than altitude. Number three, you could have loss of hair. Number four, uh, vision changes are normal when you have rapid weight loss. Okay, 
So on to number five, we've talked about this a lot. And guys, it's very, very, very important that you take note of this. I joked on the last show, um, my sleeves are a little looser. This used to be a little tighter around my biceps when I started my injection journey six months ago. The research for uh, the injections has shown, at least early on, that the weight you're losing is about 30% to 34% muscle mass versus other fad diets of the past. It was closer to 20 to 24. That's something you got to be conscious of. And you should do some weight training, resistance training in addition to your cardio. Now, listen, I didn't until I got close enough to my goal weight, because you know how you know that goal weight you want to be to? Well, if you start putting muscle mass back on, uh, your goal weight's going to change and you don't know how much muscle mass you put on. So I was trying to get down to my goal weight and then say, now I'm going to put muscle mass on. So I'll have a new goal weight, right? Which is, hey, I'm, I'm staying at the 210 I wanted to get to. But little by little, I want to put three or four pounds on muscle mass, gain some of that muscle mass back. So, um, but you shouldn't do that. You should be smarter during your weight loss uh, <laughs> injection journey. Definitely do some resistance training. It's just push-ups around the house or some some bench, uh, what do they call bench dips, good for the triceps, um, squats. I mean, you don't need a weight set to do resistance training, right? You can do pull-ups. There's so many different things you can do. Um, just think of, all, think of all the prison movies you watch. I don't watch many, but like whatever they're doing in prison to get stronger, those are the things you can do, right? Now everybody's running to watch prison movies all of a sudden. I think not. Um, I couldn't even tell you what I watched. So um, that said, number one, shot usually goes in the rear end. It's going in the belly now. If you want, there's superstition that that might be more effective on losing belly fat. Number two, your nausea could be worse in altitude. Six random weird things about the injections, right? Number three, on the Facebook groups, there's a lot of people talking about hair loss. Number four, rapid weight loss can impact your vision in a negative manner. Number five, weight training, resistance training. You're losing muscle mass on the injections. The research is showing that. Uh, so be conscious of it. And last but not least, is it real? Number six, number six. Is number six real? Six random weird things that can happen on the injections. Is ozempic face a real thing? I mean, I don't know. Look at this face. I have this wrinkle always. And these ones, I think, were always there. My face looks a lot thinner. So, guys, let's talk about Ozempic Face. And if you recall, early on in the show, we did an episode specific to Ozempic Face. In fact, many of you all, the first time you ever heard of Ozempic was because one celebrity was slamming another celebrity back in, like, 2020, I think it was, and said, that person has an Ozempic Face. And all the celebrities started accusing each other of being on the Ozempic injections when nobody else has ever even heard of them yet. It always starts in Hollywood, right? And then the rest of us want to know. Um, that's I had already started researching it because I do a lot of news every morning and I read about it and then I heard the Ozempic face remark and then the whole world seemed to know about Ozempic. And then within 18 months, it was you know available to the mass market, whether you had a prescription or not. And now we're in 2024. And you can pretty much get it on every street corner in some form, whether it's semaglutide, Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjaro, Zepbound, you know, Terzepatide. You now have a number of the injections that are available um, over the counter, if you will. You still need to go see your doctor, but you don't need to have diabetes. You can do them for weight loss. All the clinics seem to have different rules, and some of the sometimes the manufacturer puts that on like hey, you have to have thirty five percent body fat at a minimum, or you can't have thyroid issues, or blah blah blah, whatever it is. But check that those things out, and remember to listen to the episode four steps to start your own um, weight loss journey because we talk about all those things. So is Ozempic face real, guys? Ozempic face is just the most recent nickname given to those who have rapid weight loss that were probably obese and you can see it on their face among other parts of their body because they carried around all this excess skin for years so zimpic face can be extra wrinkles in here double triple chin uh just uh you know signs of rapid weight loss which have nothing to do with the injections it could have been you know, because you had lap band surgery, it could have been because you just, you know, got on a fitness kick and lost a bunch of weight. 
So um, is a Zimpic face a real thing? Well, it is if you think it is, and it's not if you think it's not. That's the way I look at it, right? So guys, this has been six weird, random things that can happen when you take the injections. I just thought I would share those things with you. Um, there's more than that, I'm sure. Uh, join those Facebook groups if you want to learn about those. Uh, but those are just six things that I thought I'd mention to you that people are experiencing. So, uh, hey, guys, we're looking for a guest to interview on the show. We're looking for a sponsor. If you know anybody who's selling or manufacturing some sort of uh, injection for weight loss, send them my way. Share it with them. Tell them I'd love to interview them on my shows. Josh Luke, uh, this is the Weight Loss Injection Revolution Podcast. Thanks for listening.